What is up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another brand new release today, guys. Panini Revolution Basketball. We're chasing Wemby Galactics, amongst others, of course. So, again, guys, 23-24, uh, Revolution Basketball Hobby, four box break, two random teams each, number one, guys. So, here we go. Let's cloak, uh, click the dice row. It is a three and a one four times. Double up your names, guys. So, one, two, three, and fourth and final time. Three and a one four. Series. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Down to Brian. And then uh, four. One, two, three, four. Thunder. Nice. Get some case on Wallace, man. At the top. So there you go, man. You got the Thunder at the top there. And then... Uh, See what else. Joe, you got the Pistons, Timberwolves, as well as the Wizards. John with the Rockets. Brian with the Grizzlies. Justin with the Nuggets. Kev with the Clippers. Brian with the Spurs. Congratulations, man. Kev with the Ma uh, Mavericks. Brian with the Raptors. Adam with the Knicks. Joe with the Warriors. Adam with the Heat. Joe with the Bulls. Brian with the Cavs. John with the Magic. Joe with the Hawks. Series uh, with the uh, Kings. Brian with the 76ers. Joe with the Celtics. Adam with the Suns. Brian with the Nets. Lakers. Blazers. Justin with the Pacers. Adam with the Bucks. Brian with the Pelicans. Joe with the Jazz, and then Brian, look at that, got your Hornets as well, man. Congrats. Nice little randomizer for you, man. All right, my first deal with the record was in Japan, Kev says. We were on the 25th floor with a building. Oh, my God, that is wild. I'd be terrified if I was, like, that high. Yeah, I think the biggest I've ever felt uh, was 2018, I think. The 2018 earthquake. I think that one was like a six point something. 2018 earthquake. Sorry, no. Sorry. It was a 7.1. That's, wow. Actually, I felt a 7.0. Yeah, that was crazy. I didn't realize it was that, that, that much, actually. That is right. It was like a, it was like on like f right after Fourth of July. It was like July fifth or July sixth. Yeah, I thought it was like a six point eight at the time. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, so it happened July six July sixth. I remember it was in the afternoon, dude. It was like I don't even. I think it was like four or five or something like that. No, no, no. It was like seven actually, seven or eight because we were just gonna go to this like six two six night market. I remember I stopped at my parents' house. With my wife and my in-laws, because my wife needed a change at the time uh, we were living there. And I remember she went into the room, changed. My in-laws and my parents were outside. My mom might still have the ring camera, but, like, they were outside in the in the driveway. My, my, my dad and my mom at the time had a had an RV. And I just remember I was in the... I was kind of inside the house and outside the house in the door. I just remember the RV started swaying and everything started moving. I just heard my wife yell and I was like, oh, snap, is that an earthquake? I just remember my parents and my in-laws were just outside on the wall of the house like, whoa. <laughs> and my wife screaming and I actually froze and I didn't even go to her. But I'm like, technically, like, I was like, she was good because she was like under like a, you know, they always tell you to like kind of either go under the table or go under like a door opening. But I remember she was upset because I didn't run to her. But I was like, uh, I was kind of in shock. <laughs> but yeah, I remember that one was pretty significant that I felt through. And uh, trade window closed, guys. And then the one that happened when I was like, I think I was like a freshman in high school. That one happened during the summer. I remember we were in class. And all of a sudden, it just started swaying really hard. Because that one was, the epicenter was closer to us. And I just remember all of us like looked at each other and then we ducked right under the school, like right under the tables. It was, it was pretty wild. Yeah, that's no, a pretty scary thing, man, honestly. Like I said, I don't think people realize how scary it is until you go through it. And it doesn't matter the magnitude, dude. It's just it's just something you normally don't feel. Especially if you're not used to it. And like I said, anytime it does happen, even though we know here living in California, it's like going to happen a lot more often than other states and countries. But still, it's just pretty wild to experience, though. So. All right, so we're getting a whole master case, guys. So we'll decide which inner we're going to use for this break. 
One, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. And then we'll decide which box is right after. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know. How, what? So, I've been hearing some crazy, like, conspiracy and rumors about this eclipse that it's I guess I was reading online I mean I didn't really read I guess I was scrolling through Twitter but people were saying that like the US is gonna like launch some rockets or something I don't know what do you guys know about that and like everybody's preparing for this like it's the end of the world One, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, here in Southern California, I mean, we're going to get an eclipse, but I don't think it's going to be as a full-on... It's full a full-on, like, eclipse, solar eclipse, compared to, like, other states. I think you guys over there, like, in New York area, right, are going to get, like, a full-on covered moon sun kind of deal yeah i seen this one guy i see it was like a, a reel like some guy was like preparing for like no power no food no this and i'm just like uh what the hell's going on here <laughs> I think in California they're only getting like 51%. Sorry, 90%. Well, that's pretty close. Who's getting 100% though? Is that where you're at, Rex? Are you getting 100%? I, I just been seeing a, a lot of funny uh, memes of like, I can't wait to stare into the solar eclipse so I can file for disability for the rest of my life. <laughs> that's just like, dude, savages, bro. Savages. I want to be 90% in New Jersey, but try to try to Western Pennsylvania to rest in New York to see it, hold, see it in totality. That's cool, man. Yeah, I mean, that hardly ever happens, right? So, might as well experience that for your own two eyes. Well, we're all still living. Oh, Rex, so you're, you're going to get a full totality then, huh? In your area. So it's Indianapolis, Cleveland, Buffalo, and along that path. Interesting. Really? So it's more like because, yeah, I heard people were going to run out of gas. And, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I mean, people are prepared for, like, I guess, I guess it's more like, yeah, these small towns or small cities potentially compared to other bigger cities are are gonna get an influx of tourism, right? More than others, so it's like, if you're in those areas of like full totality, then it's like, I guess, yeah, you're right. Like, it's uh, it's gonna like, it'll be a little crowded. Especially those people that like, that love shit like this, you know? Oh, okay, well, I mean, well, that's the thing, right? You're so close that you feel like people in your area might actually go drive up, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying, like Adam Cover is just saying. You might as well go drive drive up and check it out. So most people are gonna be kind of be like Adam, right? It's like, hey, I'm gonna go try to check this shit out, right? Why not? All right, here we go, guys. Oh, sorry, forgot to uh, fix my focus. Yeah, after filling up the gas tank, right? <laughs> Just to be safe. Derek Lively, that's to 125 uh, Neutron. So remember, guys, honestly, if I remember correctly, Revolution in the 8-box case maybe gives you an autograph every other box on average. But you're really kind of just looking for the rookie stuff. And obviously, 
the like color waves, like the fractal and stuff like that. Um, and obviously we're gonna be chasing like Wemby's. So Maxwell Lewis. All right, what do we got right here? Thunder. Is that Kason Wallace? It is. Very nice to 99. Thunder. He's actually a great player. Love that dude. That is true. 90% is close, right? <laughs> it's like, eh. It's close enough. And there we go. Autograph in first box. Magic Johnson for the Lakers. Lakers. And, um, I don't know if I showed it again, but Lakers, that's going to go to Brian Last Ball Mojo. Yeah, I think that's like, feels like Dawn for like, uh, however long it is, right? Like 90 seconds, two minutes, however long it is, like, to, to go around. Definitely record that stuff, Adam. I mean, I'm sure I'll see a lot of videos online, but obviously look at it yourself first, though. <laughs> There's a die cut here, lift off, Simon Williamson. Fractal. Keontae George. And, woo, this looks really nice. Out of 99, Cosmic Jokic for the Nuggets. Going to Justin. There's a Supernova Wemby. And look at that. Another autograph. GG Jackson for the uh, Grizzlies going to Brian. Brian, you're having a killer break, bro. And we got Kyle Kuzma. Number to 75 Sunburst. And if I remember correctly, these were kind of like case hits as well. If I'm correct. I don't, I don't, I'm not too, I don't remember too much besides the Galactics, but I think so. Um, I don't know. I actually didn't pay attention. No, it's a sticker. I remember Trey Sport CC is that Revolution turned to stickers after the 2018, I think, or 2019 year. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe there's some people that are on card, but I feel like it's been sticker ever since then. But if they did bring some on cards back, that'd be pretty awesome. So it's been a while since they did that. Some pretty nice stuff here, though, guys, to start us off. Let me, uh, I'm going to top load all the numbered stuff, though. That way, uh, make sure that that's all protected nicely. Kind of Wemby stuff. What time is that supposed to hit for you guys, Adam? Is it an early thing for you guys, or is it an afternoon thing? I don't even know what time it's going to hit LA here. I just know it's only like 50-something percent, I think, or something like that. I mean, I don't think I, I don't think last time that happened, I looked into it, but I mean, is it, is it really, really that bad for your eyes in that sense? Like, 
How long do you have to look at it to, to have some real bad eye damage? Or at least, like, what do the studies say? Because you know a lot of people are going to do it, but... I wonder how many people are actually going to have permanent eye damage. So Adam says, I think it's just that if you regularly set the sun, it's too bright and you automatically look away. And then it can really damage the retinas and the rest is, yeah, damage burn a hole in your retinas in six seconds. So, I mean, I don't want to try it, but... <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, that makes sense then, Adam. So, yeah. Reg okay, so, yeah. Regularly, if you normally try to stare at the sun, you're just like... And, right, I mean, I've done it before. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I never have because I did it before a lot when I was a kid. I'd just be like trying to like keep my eyes open as much as possible. But because with the eclipse, yeah, it might not have the same instinct. And, yeah, you stare a little too long. I guess that's, yeah. We've all done it before, right, guys? I mean, we've all started the sun. I, I mean, I know I have. But I don't I don't think I did it for that long. <laughs> I just remember there was one time I remember as a kid, I just remember I was just fighting it, saying, F it, I'm going to try it. Since I like those people, it's not to do. Yeah, what a great friend. They'll never know that you might have saved their eyes. LeBron, Shockwave, Walker. There's a Walsh. And there's a Jalen Pickett. Out of 149. What specific sunglasses do you need for this? They're probably making a killing. For this eclipse this year. If you like don't have one, obviously. Oliver Maxine's Prosper to fifty. That one did not did not have an auto. Alright, last box here, guys. Franz Wagner. There we go. Magic. And it's a rookie. It's Anthony Black Vortex. And that's going to be to 99. Cosmic. We got a die cut lift off here. Ooh! Little teaser there with Keldon Johnson. Out of 99 Cosmic. There's a Brandon Miller, Lakers there, Anthony Davis, we got a Jerace Walker, there we go, hmm, oh they kind of look like the 3D glass ones, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Alrighty, guys. Well, hey, we hit two autographs here. Like I said, if I remember correctly, the way Revolution was always set up is on average, it's like one every other box. So usually four in a case. So if we hit two, there could be two of them still hiding over there on average. Uh, we did hit that other variation I feel like is kind of a shorter print card, Primetime Performers, but we did not hit a Galactic yet. So if it's not in those last four, it's definitely going to be in the second half of the case over there on the other side. But yeah, some nice numbered cards here. Obviously, we got one Wemby insert. And like I said, two autos there. Um, but yeah, guys. Actually, hold on. Speaking of that, GG Jackson actually is on card. So maybe some players are on card. I just noticed that right now. 
wow, that's awesome. If they're starting to do on-card revolution cards again, that's sweet. I hate that they took that away. So yeah, that's actually an on-card. This is a sticker. Very nice, though. Sweet. So there you go, guys. Uh, revolution basketball number one in the books. Appreciate you guys. JazzPeaceCaseBanks.com.